Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. I've got something that I think is uh, very uh, interesting and also is something that I've been looking for for a long time. Now, this is a 100-watt uh, solar panel that is completely portable. You can see how small this is. Very lightweight, very thin, but what makes this stand out is this is a universal solar panel that will work with almost everything. I haven't found anything that it won't work with. And I've got, just to show you here, I've got four different power stations. I actually have several power stations that I use here at my place. But I've got four different power stations. I've got a Browie, I've got a, a SN1000, I've got a Blue Eddy, I've got a Generarc, now called Geniverse, and inside I've got a Solar, uh, I've got an Anchor Solex, and I've got an All Powers Pro system in there. This panel can be used to charge up any of these and it will also run any device that works off a USB or USB-C. Now I've looked at other portable panels that claim to do all that. They don't include all the connectors that will actually do that. This one actually includes all the connectors so I'm going to show you that first. Here this in this uh, package, in this pouch, they include all the different connectors. Now this comes with about a uh, six foot uh, cable this is, if you're going to run MC4 connectors to a controller and then charge up something like a battery, you can use this system using these MC4 connectors. And they give you about a six foot cord there. But then they also include an adapter with MC4 connectors. So this can plug in here. It uh, plugs into the positive and negative. And then you can use this panel to run anything that is a USB-A, USB-C, or it has a 12 volt DC outlet on it. And that is where this cable comes in right here. They give you about a three foot cable. It has a barrel plug on it, and then they give you all of the different adapters. These are all the different barrel adapters that will work on different power stations that require a barrel adapter. So they give you this and the MC4 connector, and you can use this to charge up any of your power stations that use a barrel adapter. They've got your adapter in here and your extension cord. Now. Now, but they didn't stop there. They also included, and this is something that I find really important because a lot of my power stations use either an Anderson plug or an XT60 plug, okay? And these are two different types that will work on several of my power stations with MC4 connectors. So again, you can connect this to the MC4 connectors, and if you've got a power station that has an Anderson plug or an XT60 plug, which two of these do, I can charge them directly from this panel too. So literally, they have covered all the bases uh, for charging just about any power station that you need to, and they include the adapter if you want to charge things like cell phones, a uh, laptop, a, an iPad, a tablet, anything like that that will be that can be charged off of a USB-A or USB-C. Or if you're using this for camping, you may have USB uh, fans and lights and things like that. You can run all of those directly off the solar panel without having to use up the power from your power stations or anything else. And I really have to give it to Ecosonic because they have included all of the plugs. Uh, that you might need for this system, and it's a big enough panel that you can charge uh, a power station in a relatively short time. In fact, most of these power stations would charge up in about five hours of direct sunlight. Now, let's talk about the panel, because I'm going to show you this, and I'm also very impressed with their panel here. So this comes out, comes out, and it has a little uh, buckle on the back side of it. i got to un unhook. Then you can pull, fold this out, and it does have feet on the back side here that you can fold out like so, to prop it up, to prop this up. I won't prop it up, but I'll show you. It does have a, a pull-out foot that you can prop this up so you can set it directly in the sun and straighten it out. Now, what I like about these panels, these are a rigid plastic on the back of these. Some of these come with a fabric panel. I don't really like those. I don't think they will last as long or hold up in the weather. This has a solid uh, plastic, quite thick, uh, piece on the panel. These panels will last a long time. They can take some abuse. Uh, they're not going to fall apart after a couple of years of use. Now it says in their listing that this is a 100 watt panel but actually it has 120 watt output. So I'm going to test that just to see how much output. Now I'm in direct sunlight. I should be able to get at least 80 percent out of this. So if I can get close to 100 watts I, I will be very happy with this panel. So now I'm going to hook this panel up and I'll just hook it up to uh, and I will hook it up to the Browie and just we'll, we'll get a reading and see how many watts uh, input it is actually putting into a power station so I can give you an idea of how it works. 
Okay, so I've got this panel set up. I'm in pretty much direct sunlight, and it's pulling a little over 90 watts. I decided to plug it into the Blue Eddy uh, using the Anderson plug, just to show you that those plugs work. This is the Blue Eddy, and it is charging at about 90 watts out of a 100-watt panel. So I would say, yeah, it probably produces a little bit more than the 100 watts that it's rated for. That's good. That's really good in this type of sunlight, and that would recharge this unit in probably about four to five hours. So that's really good system. Again, that is made by Ecosonic, uh, and this is the 100 watt. They also carry a 60 watt and a 30 watt if you want the smaller panels. I would recommend the 100 watt if you're charging up power stations. If you're only going to be using it for camping to charge up your cell phones, iPads, laptops, and run, run uh, DC appliances, then you could get a 60 watt or 30 watt. Again, Ecosonic on Amazon. I'm very impressed that they put all the controllers and chargers that you need for charging up any of these units that you may have. All right, folks. Have a great day.